I was impressed with that move you pulled. Bang. <laughs>three games sometimes a little bit more we'll kind of determine uh, how we go depending on time because i do have the team building portion of this as well we see how we did we at the end of the video we talk about maybe things we want to change and then wednesday we come back i bring the same exact team back and then we implement those changes i maybe suggested at the end of showdown sunday and then we play five more matches at the least sometimes it's seven most of the time it's five to try to keep the videos around 30 minutes talking about this team so obviously this team is centered around lowland Marowak. Now, if you know me at all, and you followed last year's videos on Showdown Sunday, I'm a huge Marowak fan in competitive battle. I love Cubone. Boomerang, Thick Club, so strong in the meta. When you got Pokemon with Sturdy, Pokemon with Focus Sash, you know, Boomerang gets twice, it hits really hard, and the most Pokemon with Sturdy are weak against ground type moves. Now, of course, with the Malola and the Marowak, we, don't, we no longer get the stab with Boomerang, which is kind of unfortunate, but that's okay. But the weakest thing about Marowak, is his speed. That's always been his biggest problem. Um, and when we ran the other Marowax in the previous you know, videos, it was in formats where he can shine, and we would use Levani, Leavani, or however you want to pronounce his name, uh, along with it because I can use Sticky Web to slow the enemy Pokemon down. And that's kind of what we're going to go with on this team. Now, I did try Trick Room Team at first. It didn't work very well. I might revisit that in the future. You know, that's why Slowbro's here originally, because I wanted to do a Fire, Water, Grass, Cool. Now, we will break down each individual Pokemon, and right? I'm just kind of explain to you uh, the overall objective of this team. So, at first I had Slowbro, because it could learn Trick Room, it was a bulky water Pokemon, I can have it in there, use Trick Room, and then hopefully switch out to something else. And I was actually going to run two Trick Rooms, uh, but I kind of ran into some problems there, and it didn't work out very well. But we'll try that maybe in the future and see if Trick Room, Marowak, could really be that effective in the meta. Um, just another disclaimer, though. I'm not too in tune with the meta at the moment. I haven't really played too much competitive battling once Sun and Moon came out. So this is definitely a big trial. Uh, I'll definitely be following it a little bit more closely now that we're at the beginning of this whole tier system being broken down because we don't have an NU yet. We don't have an RU, a PU, etc., etc. You know, we just have the OU, and then we have the Pokebank versions of it where we add the Pokemon that aren't even in Sun and Moon yet. Uh, to the fray. Right now, I'm just going to focus on the Sun and Moon uh, native Pokemon, and that's what we're doing here. So, back to the team here. So, we have Marowak here, and he's obviously going to be adamant nature. We want to do as much damage to him as possible. I like the Rockhead ability. Now, some people like to run the Cursed Body or even the Lightning Rod to make him immune to electricity. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, we might change that in the future. The reason why I like Rockhead is because Flare Blitz hits so hard. What Rockhead does is he takes no recoil damage for moves that, you know, deals recoil damage. So Flare Blitz, you would take a lot of damage, you know, in return, 33%, which is quite a bit. Um, and it thaws the user, too, so if I get frozen somehow, I can also thaw myself, which is nice. Um, I do a tremendous amount of damage with the stab on Flare Blitz. It's so powerful. Um, I was playing a practice game earlier. I did 60%, 60% to a Melodic. That was a defensive Melodic. Um, I, you know, Melodic's a water Pokemon. It doesn't do traditionally that much damage. Fire attack stones. It still did a tremendous amount of damage. Uh, but again, speed is his biggest uh, detractor here. 
<clears throat> which kind of sucks. I have Swords Dance just in case I can get a free, you know, I know they're going to switch into something and get a free Swords Dance off and maybe do some damage. Shadow Bone, a very powerful move, Stab. It also has a chance of lowering defense by one, which is kind of nice if we need that. If we're going to get some Pokemon to stall in a little bit, that might help out. Of course, Boomerang hits two turns. It's uh, 50 power, so it's going to be doing with Thick Club, too. And I didn't explain this. Thick Club doubles the attack of Cubone or Marowak. This gives him damage, uh, the power damage equivalent to a Mega Pokemon. Like, it's a lot of damage with Thick Club. And again, speed holds him back, but if we can get that Sticky Web down, he can do some work. So, that's Marowak. Nothing really special here. The spread, of course, attack and speed. We want to try and get as much damage up. We want to be faster than most Pokemon we can be. And I just put in a little bit of defense because we do have high, high enough defense here that that can maybe play a little bit of a factor. So, that's that's the Marowak. And he's going to be the MVP of the team, hopefully, uh, when we come out of this. So, then we have Slowbro. It is a defensive Slowbro. You can see the stats here. Straight up HP and defense with a little bit of special defense. Bold nature. I'm not going to be using attack whatsoever. Uh, regenerator ability. Uh, he keeps regenerator ability when he mega evolves. And what that does is whenever I switch it out, he heals one third of its max HP. Since he's got a lot of HP, that's a lot of healing. On top of that, we have Skull for the stab. A very powerful move. Has a chance of burn as well, which is very nice. And we have Ice Beam. There's going to be some dragon Pokemon running around. Maybe we'll run into an Exeggutor, a lower form, which is a grass dragon type. We can do a lot of damage to it. Um, Ice Beam is a great uh, type coverage move for our team. We will run into dragon type Pokemon. It's going to happen. Dragons are very, always popular in the format. And Ice Beam will, be happy, you know, will help us out tremendously because we have nothing else that can take care of dragons besides that Ice Beam. Slack off, we're going to heal 50% of our max HP. Bit of a stalling uh, mechanism there. And then, of course, Psy Shock. Now, the cool thing about this is if you want to run a different Pokemon and you want to have a different Mega Pokemon, you can do you can do regular Slowbro with leftovers and still be very, very bulky and still bring out the pain because Slowbro is a very bulky Pokemon, very good Pokemon too. A little underrated sometimes perhaps, but it fits this team very well because, again, uh, with this team, I want a nice bulky water Pokemon to take water attacks from this guy. Um, if I want to take gra Grass-type moves, I got Leviami. Or Staraptor to kind of take. Staraptor is a bit of a glass cannon, but it can take it, uh, which is why Liviani's and there's a bug grass type. Grass poking, grass attacks aren't going to do too much to him for Slowbros. And that's why the grass water fire core works so well. So if you don't know what a grass water fire core really is, it's just a basic core where their disadvantages are covered by these guys. Um, and it's kind of just an easy way to, to you know cover your disadvantages on your Pokemon. For instance, Ezebeek gets water. This guy and this guy can both cover water. You know, this guy is weak against electricity. He can cover that because of the grass typing. He's weak against grass typing. Grass typing can take care of that. Um, he's weak against ice. Either one of these guys can take care of that, etc., etc. Now, it's not a perfect circle because, again, this guy's weak against, you know, flying type Pokemon. These guys can't necessarily take I mean, he's got very high defense. Um, but they, he doesn't take it like a non-effective type move there. Um, so it's not perfect, but it definitely uh, gives you a decent amount of coverage there when you do a basic core like that. Uh, so if you ever hear me say that, it's kind of what I'm talking about when I say a fire, water, grass core. Um, back to Slowbro, though. Back to Slowbro. So I go Psy Shock because usually when I'm going to get some Pokemon that's trying to stall against me, um, it's going to have high special defense, perhaps. And this way it kind of gives me a split on how I want to damage, especially if I'm not effective against them. I can kind of decide, okay, this guy has a lot of, you know, a lot of defense, right? So I'm going to use Psy Shock, or I'm going to use Skull. He's got a lot of special defense, I'm going to use Psy Shock. And I can kind of whittle him down, perhaps, if he's a bit of a tank. Hopefully, he doesn't have any type of healing, although they usually do. Um, so that's Slowbro, uh, Mega Slowbro, and he's a Mega Slowbro. Very powerful Pokemon. Let's go to Leviani. So Leviani is a bit of a support Pokemon. Um, it's a bit of a weird Pokemon. And actually, I'm going to switch Air Slash out, I think. Um, I had it in there just as a placeholder because, honestly, even though you see these attacks, I can't use some of them because they're from the 6th generation as a transfer move, and we don't have access to that quite yet. So I can't use things like Giga Drain, which I thought about using as an alternative to kind of fuel up. Uh, knockoff would have been great, but I can't use Knockoff on it. Even Magicoat would have been cool. But uh, I decided to go with Toxic or Air Slash, and I haven't really decided which one I prefer. Honestly... The reason why I went with Air Slash is because if I go into a mirror move, a mirror move, <laughs> a mirror matchup of sorts, like if I'm going into the grass type Pokemon or something, 
I can use Air Slash to do some damage to him. In fact, I'm just going to keep the Air Slash. We'll see how it works. Um, but we have Sticky Web, of course, like I mentioned before. It's mostly to support Marowak, but honestly, Slowbro can benefit from it as well because it's also a slow Pokemon. Hell, slows in his name. <laughs> you know, uh, Leaf Storm, tremendous amount of damage. It's kind of one of those attacks you want to do once and switch out because you're going to lose two special attacks, and that's, uh, that's a little rough. Bug Buzz, 10% uh, chance to lower target special defense and it's stab, bug move. You know, maybe you're going to get some Pokemon this week, it's bug type, and you can get a little bit of damage to it. Or something that has resistance to, to, to grass type Pokemon, but not bug types, and he's almost knocked out. Um, you can kind of take advantage of that. Air Slash again, just a, it's just a placeholder for now. Uh, maybe when the. I can't use Sail Bell either because that was another option I thought about doing as well. Maybe once the uh, transfer system comes into effect. We can take advantage of some of these others, like Knockoff. Knockoff would 100% be the move I'd take to get rid of some items. Swarm ability, um, when he has one third or less of max HP, my bug attacks will do 1.5 times the amount of damage, so even more damage from Bug Buzz, which is already a pretty powerful move. And then Focus Sash, I could take one uh, one really strong hit, which could happen, just to get my Sticky Webs up. If I think I can get Sticky Web up and it's going to help my team out, um, I can sacrifice my Leviani essentially for the Sticky Web. Now, Granted, Stick, you know, Leviani has a lot of speed. I made Intimidation just for the speed alone. Um, high speed, high special attack, a little bit of extra defense, because why not? Um, very, very useful Pokemon. It's more of a support Pokemon, but he can do some damage as well. So let's talk about Star Raptor. Now, this guy is all about the damage. 100% choice ban. Um, Intimidate only because I can't use Reckless. Uh, him ability is only through transfer, and I can't use it, unfortunately. Would be nice. Um, do extra damage with Brave Bird and Double Edge. Uh, Double Edge, Brave Bird, both stab moves, very powerful U-turn. If I'm in there with Star Raptor, I want to switch out. I haven't used the move yet. I can U-turn to kind of get some priority, uh, pivot something in there, um, kind of trick something in there as well, see if they switch. If they don't switch, I can U-turn to something that I can get a free turn to maybe do a Swords Dance if it's a Pokemon I can live against or whatever. I think they're going to switch out. I can get a free uh, switch. I basically get a free switch out with damage. Close combat, strong move for type coverage. We want to get some normal type Pokemon that's bulky or something that can fill out the cl close combat. Of course, choice ban. We're going to do extra damage, but we can only use the one move we select until we switch out, which is a bit of a gamble, but it does a lot of freaking damage. Raichu, Alolan Raichu is a very cool Pokemon. Now, one thing I know this team already has trouble with from practicing, but also just kind of knowing how this team works. And it's something I'm going to have to fix somewhere in the future. I don't know where I'm going to fix it exactly. I've thought about possibly switching out Slowbro for maybe a Lantern. Um, but I have two Psychic Pokemon. I have a big weakness to Ghost Pokemon. You, you, and you. Although he can take... Now, I didn't even mention this, but the reason why one reason why he's in there is because I needed a normal type Pokemon to uh, take Ghost type, type attacks for free. Because this guy, this guy, and this guy are all weak against Ghost types. Um, and on top of that, we can get Stark, we can get Star types. Um, very, you know, I got, I got some, some issues with Dark and Ghost types, which sucks because there's a lot of powerful, uh, Ghost and Dark types out there. Um, I've been seeing a lot of, uh, I believe it's called Decidii. I could, I could be mistaken, it's, uh, Rowlet's Full Evolution. Grass Ghost type Pokemon, very strong Pokemon as well. And I thought about running it, but I didn't want two Ghost Pokemon. Um, could be an issue for my team. Could be an issue for my team. Uh, granted, Slowbro could actually take it. I had to do this in my practice game, but I actually won this game. Um, it used, I believe it's called Shadow Shackle, which is a ghost type move, and it uh, does physical attacks. Mega Slowbro can block it, no problem. He can take a couple of those. He's very bulky, very high defense. Um, but the set here we have Life Orb, Surge Surfer, which realistically isn't going to come into play, really, um, unless I, there's an electric train uh, active, but he doesn't have another option for an ability. I'm using him because I needed an electric type Pokemon on my team. Um, just I needed something. First off, I need something with special attack, high special attack, because I have a lot of physical attackers, and I want an electric type. So for Star Raptor here, we can get electric primarily, obviously. Um, this guy could take, and this guy takes it for free, obviously. Um, he's also he gets electric, so kind of helps out with that. Um, nasty plot, raise special attack by two, psychic, bolt switch again, nice little pivot. I don't know how I feel about having a little one right on this team. I feel like there's probably a better Pokemon I could put in this team to help my team out. Maybe something a little bit more bulkier. Or I could switch Slowbro out for me, like I said, Lantern, and then switch Raichu out for something else. 
definitely a few possibilities there, but for now, that's what we're going to run with and see how it works out. Obviously, modest nature here, high speed, high special attack, move reduction, special defense. Um, Crooked Dog, I'm actually going to switch something out here. So first off, I don't like Outrage on him at all. Um, the only reason I use Outrage is because there's really not too many options here. I'm running Life Orb, so I can do extra damage. I can't use Super Power yet. I wish I could. I can't use uh, Stealth Rank. I'm actually going to give him Stone Edge. I'm going to give him Stone Edge even though it never freaking hits. And I guess we'll keep uh, Shadow Claws basically useless too, but I really don't have another. I can go with Foul Play perhaps. That was something I was, I was eyeballing a little bit just because when I go Dragon Claw against Dragon types just to have some extra damage. Oh boy. I should have done this off camera, but I didn't think about that until next. I forgot about it. Um, I could go Pursuit as well to lock somebody in. I'm actually going to grab. I am going to grab. So unprofessional. I apologize, guys. This is, this is terrible. I don't want Shadow Claw at all. You know what? Let's go Dragon Claw. We're gonna go Dragon Claw just 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 to move on. Moxie ability, great ability. Whenever I knock a Pokemon out with him, it's gonna raise my attack stat by one, which is tremendous. Life Orb, obviously more damage. Crunch, Stab, Earthquake, Stone Edge, Dragon Claw. I can't use Knock Off yet again. It's a transferable move, which sucks. I would really like to use. That. I could use Foul Play. Let's use Foul Play. Let's just do it. Um, attack, Speed, HP. Adam, that's our team, guys. Um, if you have any other questions, be, you know, feel free to comment below or any suggestions for my team here. But this is our first team we're going to use today. Let me validate and make sure it's good to go. It's good to go. Let's go ahead and save. Let's get to some games, guys. We're going to do three. We're going to do three full-length games. If we get some uh, some immediate rage quitters, like at the very beginning, or if we get something that just times out at the very beginning, we will. I'll show it, but I'm going to cut it down so it's not it doesn't take up room in the video. It doesn't count as one of my three. So we have an interesting team here, and he has uh, a couple legendaries here. Um, I, again, I'm not very familiar. This is to me, I'm learning, and you guys are going to be learning with me because I'm, I'm not 100% sure about what they're going to want. Really. I don't even know the typing of everything really yet. I do have Sun and Moon. Um, I've, in fact, I have 200 plus hours on my Moon game. I'm shiny hunting quite a bit. I'm 12 shinies so far. Um, let's start off with Krukadon. Alright, we're going to start with Minior here. Rock flying type guy who shields up. He can take a hit pretty much for free here. Um, I'm gonna go to slow bro here. Let's see what he does. He goes for stealth rocks, which I kind of figured he would. I'm gonna go mega evolve here. I'm gonna go for ice beam. He may switch out. I'm just gonna go for ice beam here. We'll see what he does. He goes for charge beam. We're gonna take a little bit of damage. They're not too much. Gonna raise a special attack there. He goes the ice beam. Does a tremendous amount of damage. And we're going to get rid of his shield here. Uh, he's got leftovers. He may switch out. But you know what? I'm just going to go for Ice Beam again. He stays in charge. does a bit of damage. And then I'm going to get my Ice Beam off here. So we're going to knock out the Meteor. The first Pokemon is going to go down. And that's going to give us a little bit of uh, leeway. That's a big Pokemon to get out of here. Because he can be troublesome for quite a few of my Pokemon. Um, yeah. Does Lord Dark Dragon type. I would love to just hit Ice Beam. I don't know what this guy can really do. He's going to do a dark type of problem, right? Um, I'm sure he outspeeds me. I'm just going to go for... I'm just going to go for the ice beam. Oh, I outspeed him. Wow. I did not expect to outspeed him. Goes for crunch and we survive it, actually. Lowers our defense, though. I was thinking about going slack off as well, but I was like, there's no way I'm going to make that attack. Um, I guess I did, though. Let's go for it again. We'll weaken him up a little bit if he stays in. Um, our defense is lowered. He's definitely going to knock us out. I don't know if this guy can learn Sucker Punch or not. Again, I'm unfamiliar with all the new Pokemon here. Uh, but I'm learning as we go. So it goes for Crunch here. And yeah, we're going to fall down. He's going to power up his attack here. Um, his speed isn't super high. I'm thinking I might go to Crookendile. Because if I knock him out, I get a free boost on Moxie. Which can be pretty useful. Um... Let's just let's do Crocodile here. Let's go Crocodile, and let's go Foul Play. Or should I go Earthquake? I'm gonna go Earthquake. Let's go Earthquake. I was gonna go Foul Play because he's got additional high attack, but you know, Dark types are not necessarily immune, but they take less damage from Dark attacks. So this guy's a normal Psychic type. I'm just gonna go for Crunch, and we take him out. So now things are going well. 
Crocodile actually bodies this guy's team for the most part. Um, he's going to have some issues here. We got the Moxie up, Toxic Packs. We can just go for Earthquake. Um, I, I think we outspeed him. We do. And that Moxie, we're just going to be calculating that free attack buff stuff. That's what I'm talking about. Um. <laughs> Sorry, brother. Sorry, brother. Necrozoma here, Psychic type crunch. Um, he might outspeed us. We're pretty close to the speed. I take him out, and uh, that's that, man. Pretty sure we just take out this guy. Good game. He left. Um, wow. Crocodile just bodied this team, which is great. He has obviously a very high weakness to dark types on his team here. But uh, cool. So first game goes to us. We got two more games to go. Um, oh boy. That is an Ash Greninja. Tapus. <sighs> Who's he going to start off with? I'm thinking he might start off with a Tapu. I don't have a Poison Pokemon or a Steel Pokemon. Which would have been nice. Let's start with Leviani. Here comes the Mamoswine. Now, Mamoswine can be problematic for us. I'm actually going to throw down Sticky Web. He's going to go Fire Squash. He misses. That's huge. That's absolutely huge. I want to bring out the Slow, bro. Yo. And here comes Icicle Crash. We're going to take a little bit of damage here. We're going to go and Mega Evolve. Um, I could just go for Surf. He's got a couple people that resist that. We need to switch in. I could go for Slack Off. We need to switch in. I'm just going to go for it. So yeah, he is going to switch in a top of Finny here. And we are going to go for Scald. Very little damage. Now with the Misty Terrain, I believe nobody can get any status afflictions on them. Um, I'm going to go for Psyshock. He goes for Defog, so he's going to get rid of our uh, Stinky Weapon, which is unfortunate. Okay, so this guy's actually not going to take too much damage at all uh, from our attacks. I'm just gonna stay in. He can't really do much. Steel Tonus. We don't. We don't have anything besides so Slack Off. Uh, I'm just gonna keep leftovers. I don't think he has a heal move. Keep it going. He may switch into Greninja or Scizor. Okay. Interesting choice. Huh, he might go for a Sword Stance or something. I'm a little worried about that. This guy gets going. I'm gonna be in trouble. I want to go to Marowak, but I do not outspeed him. He's going to body us. Alright, I'm thinking here. I'm actually going to do a quick damage calculation. Um, Scizor. Scald does about 37.4%. I'm just gonna stay in. I'm just gonna stay in. He's a mega. He goes for U-turn actually. Okay. So he's, he actually switches out. Goes for the U-turn. Switches into Greninja. We're gonna get the Scald off here. Do we get the burn? We do not get the burn. The ton is over. Um, we could be seeing a dark move here pretty easily. I could keep the Scalds coming. I'm going to go for Slack Up. I'm going to see what he does. Actually, if he goes for Dark Pulse, I think I just lose. The problem is I don't really have a good switch in here. I guess Leviani. Let's go to Leviani. See what he does. He's obviously calculating as well, thinking about what he wants to do. So here comes Leviani, he goes for Dark Pulse. He does a tremendous, tremendous amount of damage. I'm actually just going to go for the Leaf Storm. He outspeeds me, okay. I was hoping I outsped him, I do, I, yes, I do not outspeed him. Here comes the Ash Greninja. Um, whew, we are in trouble here. I can go to Raichu. But I'm thinking he's just going to switch into Mamoswine. Which means I could possibly get a free nasty plot off. He's gonna outspeed me. I 
It's a tough call. In fact, I think I just lose him here because he's just gonna he's gonna dark pulse again. Yeah, there it is. I'm gonna go and lose my Raichu here. I'm in a bit of a tough spot here because uh, he outspeeds pretty much everything. Let's go Star Raptor. Let's go close combat. See if we can live one attack. He may have Ice Beam. Greninja is very powerful. Ash Greninja, very powerful. See what he does. He switches actually into Scizor. We're going to get the close combat off. It does a little bit of damage. Now we get the switch out. Can we see another U turn? Um, if we do. Oh boy. Let's go to Slowbro. I think I lose this one, guys, if I'm being honest, but we'll see what happens here. Um, he switches actually into Tapu Fini, getting the Misty Search back up. It's going to outspeed me. I could go back into Star Raptor. I think he's going to taunt. We're going to start after predicting the taunts. There's the taunts. And I think I can just hit Brave Bird and I'm just going to hurt something. I'm going to hurt something and whatever, whatever comes in is going to get pretty be uh, pretty beat. So he might just stay in and take it. He may switch. Uh, I'm a little worried about the Mammoth Swine. Alright, he does not switch. He gets hurt pretty badly and he's going to go for the Surf, do a lot of damage. I'm going to go for another Brave Bird. He may switch out. Alright, we take out Tapu Finny, so Finny's gone. Um, Star Raptor stays in, the taunt is over. And here comes the Mammoth Swine. I'm gonna switch back into Slow Bro. Ice Shard, okay. We get a free Slack off here. We may see Red Ninja come back out. Goes for Stealth Rocks, smart play, that's gonna. That sucks, okay. Scald here, here comes the Scizor. We're going to get a Scald off, it's going to do some damage, we're going to go for it again. He's got a Roost, of course he does, why wouldn't he? Alright. He's going for Roost again. I got to make a play. We're going Flare Blitz. He may just knock us out, I mean... Can he? He could probably knock us out. He's going to outspeed us for sure. Here comes the Machamp act, so we can get our Flare Blitz up and we take out Machamp, no problem. Um, that's what that's the power I'm talking about, guys. That that Flare Blitz does so much work. Um, here comes Greninja. I do not outspeed him <laughs> at all. Um, I just gotta switch. I can't can't leave him in there. Goes for Hydro Pump, we resist it, he still does a lot of freaking damage. Um, stops us out. Does not miss a Hydro Pump there, lucky man, he's a lucky man. Um, pretty sure Stealth Rush just knocks us out. I ain't got much of a choice though. Okay, 2%, I kinda thought it was 25%, so. He may just switch out to Mammoth Swine. I'm going for Close Combat, he may outspeed us. I think he does outspeed us, but he may switch not. I think he doesn't outspeed us, so he's switching. To Mammoth Swan, here comes the close combat. He has a focus ash though. Okay. He's gonna go for the uh, the ice shard, but I can't switch out. If I switch out, I'll switch back in, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna switch in a crocodile, and I'm just gonna go for earthquake. 
Ice Shard's going to do a lot, but we're going to do Earthquake. We're going to get our Moxie Boost. Unfortunately with him, we do not outspeed the Greninja. But I'm just going to go for Earthquake. Goes for the Water Shuriken, knocks us out, no problem. And that's going to be good. That's going to be game. Good game. Greninja was not expecting the Greninja. Very powerful Pokemon. Um, doesn't matter what we go for. He outspeeds us. And that's the power of Greninja, guys. I did think about using Ash Greninja on our team instead of Slowbro. But I like the bulkiness of Slowbro. Um, let's go again. So we're 1-1. One one. Uh, not the best of records, but we could possibly win this last one here and go 2-1. Uh, so let's see what we can do here. He might start off with Gigalith. Trying to set up some rocks, perhaps. A couple grass Pokemon. I'm leaning towards slow, bro. We're going slow, bro. So here comes the Gengar, actually. Okay. I am a little worried about the Gengar. Will he go for a ghost move? If so, I go Star Raptor here. It's a risky play. He could go for Thunderbolt as well. No, I'm just going to stay in and see what he does. Thunderbolt, I'm glad I didn't do it. <laughs> I really thought about it. I was like, he could go for Thunderbolt, which would be a smart play, and he did. Well played there, my friend. Well played. Uh, so now Ancela here is a Grass Ghost type. Probably just going to go for a Grass move here. Um... I'm going to Marowak. Power Whip and misses. I would imagine he's going to switch to Gyarados. Not too worried about it. I'm going to go straight for the Flare Blitz. See what he does. He actually could switch to this guy too, uh, Primarina. Primarina, or the Water type. See what he does. I thought about going for the Swords Dance, but the problem is, I don't think I'll speed either of these guys. Um, he could switch into Gigalith as well. Switches into the Gyarados. He's going to intimidate us. It's gonna, we're still going to do a little bit of damage, even with the Intimidate. And we get the burn. Wow. That's unfortunate for this guy. He's going to go for a water attack. I'm going to slow bro and I'm going to try to slack off a little bit. Yeah, sorry about that, man. The burn and my high defense, that really sucks. So now here comes the Delamise. I, I think I can survive a power whip. Or a shadow ball in this case. He was 100% predicting the Marowak switching. I might be able to power whip. I cannot. <laughs> I cannot. Um, I'm going to Star Raptor. He might switch in a Gigalith. I'm just going to go for Brave Bird, though. If he switches into Gigalith, I'm going to switch into Levion. Okay. We're going to go into uh, Leviani here. Hopefully he doesn't go for a rock move, but he's going to. Hopefully it's Stone Edge misses. He switches into the Gyarados, gets the Intimidate off, gets the burn down. I'm throwing down a Sticky Web. Ooh, he's got a Dragon Dance. I'm not sure which would do more. I'm going to go Leaf Storm. I think it is much. I'm going to go for Dragon Dance. I'm going for Leaf Storm. I hit, and it knocks him out. Here comes the Giga Lith. I'm just going to stay, and I'm going to go for another Leaf Storm. The crit I don't think was needed, even with the lowered special attack. Um, I'm going to switch here, though. And this is what I'm talking about. Leviani can do support, guys. <laughs> Leviani is a support Pokemon, but man... It packs a bit of a punch too. Don't sleep on it. There comes the 
is Delamis. I am gonna switch. Into Star Raptor here. Bit of a risky play. We're gonna lower his attack. We're gonna take a bit of damage there. Um, and I think I can just go for Brave Bird freely. So we're gonna go for the Brave Bird. He may switch into Primarina. He does not. He's just gonna take the L, as the kids would say. And now here comes the Collar. I, I thought that was a Fairy Grass type. It's just a Fairy type. Goes for draining kids, outspeeds us even with. Okay. I really need something for fairy types too, and I don't have a poison or a steel type ward attack in this uh, set, so something I definitely need to think about. I'm actually gonna go for nasty plot. Psychic. We'll see what he does. I don't. I don't think he's gonna switch. I'm not sure. I mean, maybe he may just go for the draining kiss. I'm not sure what else he would have. I don't know if this thing can look like lead seed or something. There's my nasty plot. I do outspeed him thanks to the web. There goes the leech seed. I'm gonna go for psychic. We're gonna take it. A crit was definitely not needed. Um, here comes Prima Arena, and that should be game. Oops. Good game. All right, so guys, we're in two and one with this team. Not a bad team. So let's talk about this team for a minute. So obviously, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video. We have a bit of a weakness to dark types. And that's something I'm going to try and get rid of. Um, I do want something for fairy types. So I'm looking at maybe switching the Raichu out for maybe something that's... Uh... The thing is, I would love to use Magnezone. But it says Magnezone is banned in this format. Although, those Tapus said they were banned too. And yet, people were using Tapus. So I'm not really sure how exactly this uh, this format has been working out. So let's, let's take a look. So let's go ahead and... I'm not going to make that change yet, but uh, add Pokemon, let's look at Magnezone, let's say even though it's banned, I didn't mean to click the salt vest, but whatever, I just want to see if I can uh, validate this. Okay, so I can use Magnezone, okay, then I'm probably going to put Magnezone on my team, that solves my problem. So what you guys should look forward to on Wednesday is, because this Magnezone's going to help my team out a lot against uh, fairy types. You're going to see Magnezone instead of Raichu, although Raichu put in the work, for sure. You're going to see Magnezone, I think, and, uh... I think I'm fine with the rest of the team the way it is for now. I think I like Magnezone being changed here. Uh, but I'm not sure what my set's going to be exactly. I don't know how I'm going to build them. Um, I could build them a little bit more bulkier. Right? And, and give them some, uh, like, Thunderbolt, Flash Cannon. Gyro Ball even. I can completely make me super slow and use Gyro Ball and just do a lot of damage. Or, I get to the opposite end, I can do a Scarf on this guy, do a lot of damage with him, and just go to town. So those are a few options that I'm thinking about doing. Bolt Switch is nice. Oh yeah, this is going to be fun. I, I'm going to like this a lot. Um, oh yeah. Well, anyways guys, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Maybe hit that notification button as well. That way you can see when things go up. Follow me on Twitter at Mav, MAV Mark Daniels. Of course, Mav Troll for Maverick. Um, I live tweet during wrestling events. But you guys can also ask me questions. You guys can make suggestions in the comment section below or on Twitter of what kind of Pokemon team you want to see next week or what you want to see on Friday or whatever you want to see. Make suggestions for this particular team or either. You know, Maybe some move sets. Maybe I should switch foul play out for uh, Dragon Claw. You know, you guys let me know what you guys think. And uh, until next time, guys, which will be for this particular series, Wednesday for Wednesday Night Wars. Uh, definitely check that out. We're going to implement some changes here. I think Magnezone will definitely be going in, so we'll look to that. Uh, Friday, we have Friday Night Fights. And of course, Tuesday, we got some Pokemon training card game online stuff coming up. 
We got we're gonna do a tournament. Thursday we're gonna play some ladder games, try to get some ladder rewards. Uh, let's see what else do we got going on. Of course we're gonna be starting a new Let's Play this week. I can't tell you what it is yet, guys, but you can look forward to the start of that on, on Monday. It'll go Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and of course wrestling reviews, uh, reviews and wrestling news throughout the week. Uh, but until next time, guys, I am the Maverick Monday. Peace. One love.